nails. You want to tell me what's going on? Okay. Oh, hey! Shoot. Sorry. I asked her to get you on the show. What? Petty, I asked her, as a favor to me, to get you on the show. Oh. Thank you. Well, she'll do it, but I asked. I mean, she owes me, so she should. Maybe she'll feel guilty about everything. People feel guilty sometimes, even if they don't show it, right? Sure. Sometimes. Look, I know you never want to talk about anything personal. That's right, I don't. But you are so upset. Well, I was incarcerated, Miriam. Hmm? That changes a person. I mean, you go on with your life. Away, you don't expect to ever have to deal with it again, and then there they are. You know, walking right back into your life, uninvited, just standing there. They don't even have the decency to get fat or unattractive or stupid or dull. And now they're blonde, blonde. You were involved. I was on a scholarship at Pembroke. I had to work in the dining room and bus tables. Every day, this rich girl and her friends would come in. I always sat in my section, and she waved me over wanting sugar cubes. Okay, now they have a sugar cubes already there, right in front of her, it didn't matter. She called me over asking about sugar cubes for a goddamn day. Well, finally, I had it. Told her to off. Wasn't there to be her dinner theater entertainment. And she looks at me and she says, but I just wanted to talk to you. And that was it. Eight hey, words that cursed my life. So just to be super clear, you two were together. I mean, what did she see in me? No, of course not. I know exactly what she saw in you. It was an unnatural parent, okay? I know that. Just dumb. We looked ridiculous together. I had one warm hat, furry, ear flaps. When I wore it, I looked like a dog. Like she was taking me out for a walk. I know that's not true. We fought all the time. I hated her friends. She hated going to clubs. I never met her family. She never met my family. She chewed weird. Hmm. I always caught her drawing me when I wasn't looking. She would spend hours doing her hair, boring me stiff, talking about art. But... You know, she was also smart. Funny. I actually believed her when she said after college we'd move to Egypt and rent out camels to rich tourists. We were gonna adopt four of the ugliest kids in the world, raise them to be really snobby, arrogant, just confuse the out of everyone. <laughs> Junior year, her mother took her to Paris and she came back engaged. And she didn't marry him, but that was it. So I dropped out and moved to New York. Burned that mat. Oh, Susie, I am so sorry. I didn't know. I never would have asked you to go to her if I had. Never. No, I'm your manager. You were right. Had to be done. Is that the only time you've been in love? I didn't say love. Okay. Well, you guys, I'm the last. I think you'll fall in love again. Uh -huh. I'm sure it'll have the same disastrous outcome. Why would you say that? Were you ever a blonde? I was. College for a bit. Mm -hmm. I figured. 